Magnetic resonance imaging is a powerful non-invasive brain research tool which allows you to study both the function and the, the structure of the brain without having to um, do surgery. So it's, it's a really powerful tool um, which plays a role in clinical research, for example, uh, neurodegeneration or Alzheimer's disease. But it's also very important to understand um, how the brain works in general in healthy people. In this study, we were interested in finding where exactly the human homologue regions of the lateral and medial and trinal cortex that is well described in the rodent, like mice and rats, where exactly they are in the human brain. The entorhinal cortex is a really fascinating region, um, which happens to be also uh, one of the first regions where Alzheimer pathology manifests. So it's quite important to understand how exactly to translate findings in rats to humans, which uh, may help not only memory research in healthy people, but also clinical research in Alzheimer's disease. So in this figure, we see a color-coded map of the connectivity paths between voxels in the entorhinal cortex and other parts of the brain. Brighter colors indicate a higher probability of a structural connection between these brain regions. We can use the connectivity fingerprint, so to speak, of these different subregions of the entorhinal cortex to um, basically yeah, find out where they are in the human brain which is a very important finding for memory research. The um, LEC is more involved in time processing, object-related processing, whereas the MEC is more related to spatial processing. So it responds more when people look at images of scenes. So it's, they have very distinct functions and also their connectivity with the rest of the brain is totally distinct. Um, and somehow these two regions then feed information into the hippocampus where things can get um, bound together to form episodic memory, so to help us remember what happened where and uh, yeah, form an image of ourselves.